next question is also from Adresh asking, don't you think Trump was objectively better than Biden on Russia? He cut off Nord Stream before- Are you serious? I know, right? Uh, he cut off Nord Stream before and Russia never invaded during his presidency. Though it would be worthwhile to see Trump declare a nuclear war over Twitter. <laughs> He's full instinct and impulse and less calculated. Uh, guys, are you serious? You're saying, okay, so Putin has plans to invade countries. And for because it didn't happen during the four years Trump was in power, because Putin, for some reason, is not doing wars like invading countries once every two years. You just think that has had to that had to do with Trump being in power. Do you really think that it had to do? <laughs> what do you expect from Putin? Because you expect from Putin to make sure that his plans of attacks on countries are happening less than once every four years with no distance. You think like it's related for to Trump being in power? It has. In, do you think? Okay, the attack on Ukraine, every, based on everything Putin has said, okay, it's almost obvious that all of this was his plan from a very long time, okay? This was his in, uh, eventual goal to take Ukraine into Russia, okay? I don't think he would not go with this plan if Trump was in office. These were, these were pre-planned. It has nothing to do with Biden being in power rather than Trump being in power, okay? If anything, it would have been so much easier, so much easier for Putin if Trump was in power. And Putin knows it. He, he just had to continue because this was his goal. It would have been easier if, if it was Trump. This is why Russia wanted Trump in office. Are you really suggesting it would have been better under Trump, the person that openly declared that he trusts Putin more than his own intelligence agencies? Are you serious? Who is suggesting this? Are you guys insane? Are you not watching what happened? Did you not see that Trump openly became a propaganda mouth for everything the Kremlin was saying, including blaming Ukraine? for being anti-Trump and making coming up with the weirdest, most bizarre conspiracy theories about how Ukraine is trying to attack Trump. Have you guys not seen those? Even the craziest of Putin fans do not say that that level, are not spreading that level of conspiracy. He was becoming a mouthpiece for Putin. You're saying he would have been better? He would have been like, oh, Putin would be like, oh, no, Trump is in office. I better cancel my multi-decade plan of attacking Ukraine. Literally, the person in White House that is my bitch is all of a sudden is going to make me stop attacking Ukraine? Are you guys serious? What are you talking about? Biden has been... If you could compliment Biden about anything, it would be this. He has united the world against Putin. This is the only thing that Biden get, is getting an A. I think a Putin in. united the world against Putin. Like. I know, but Europe was being like, oh, maybe we need get Like, it was Biden that basically, okay. You, the EU rallied no, very quickly. After the attack. After the yes. attack, the United States was ahead of everybody before the attack, okay? United States was getting pressuring everybody to be like, we can't have this. And they were like, they're like Biden was like listening to his intelligence officers, like the attack is going to happen. And Biden took it seriously. What do you think would happen if Trump is in power and the intelligence officers were saying like, hey, Putin is about to do this. Trump would come and like, well, I don't believe my put I got a call from Putin and he was he he was very I believed him. I believed him. I could just hear his voice and like I like guys it would it would be an embarrassment. Guys, no president has been crazy enough ever to come out and say I believe a, another a leader of another country over my own intelligence officers. Even if that is true, you would not be insane enough to come out and say that in public. Trump was a mess. 
Trump was the biggest mess that could have ever happened, like in recent history in the United, in United States. You guys are, have no idea what you're talking about. Like, if you have this view, oh, I'm sorry, Rich. So, Rich is like, became, look how bad I'm <laughs> It's Rich, I'm sorry. Rich yeah, just yeah. became a patron, okay? Be like, nice to him. Is it, Rich, like, people are like, wow, this is the treatment we get if we become patrons. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I'm serious, guys. Like, no, okay? Trump. Um, would not have not been better. It's very clear. Okay, it's very very obvious. And guess what? Hey, hey, we're actually going to go. In, <laughs> it seems like based on polls, we might have Trump another four years of Trump. Okay, so we'll see. We'll get we'll get the answer. I'm pretty sure Putin's. Um, well, unless something happens to Putin, uh, we're going to have all of this um, chaos with Putin and Ukraine for the foreseeable future. Like this is not like something that is going to finish very soon. And it also seems like it's very possible that uh, Trump is going to come back to the Oval Office. So we'll see how he does with Putin carrying out this mess and Trump back in power. God help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rare to say, nah, Rudresh understands that being yelled at by Armin is a rite of passage. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, yeah. Mario is saying, so if I'm a masochist and I want to be bullied by Armin, all I have to do is become a patron? <laughs> Interesting. <Right? laughs> for as little as $1 a month, you too can get this treatment. Hi, guys. Did you know that March 23rd is Atheist Day? You should use the hashtag, hashtag Atheist Day and post a picture of yourself with a green circle to let other people know that there are a lot more of us out there than many people expect and to help normalize atheism. You can draw it on your hand or on a piece of paper or other creative ways, so long as it's safe for you. This is also not exclusive to atheists. If you think that shunning or demonizing atheists is not okay, Make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag Atheist Day on March 23rd to let your atheist friends know that you accept their non-belief. Happy Atheist Day. <laughs> <laughs>